In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X 3D all the way up to 5.9 gigahertz using the Asus ROG Crosshair X870E Hero motherboard and Enermax AIO cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Don't just copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this CPU, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 8000 and associated memory timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Switch to the advanced menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here you can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boosting algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC and EDC, according to the Motherboard Auto Rules. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar Control to Manual. That enables us to override the Warranted Silicon Stress Level, or FIT, which is one of the Precision Boost limiters governing the maximum allowed operating voltage. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scaler to 10x. This increases the fit to 10 times the factory fused value. Now the maximum voltage when all 16 cores are active is 1.36 volt, up 10 millivolt from the default 1.35 volt. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. That unlocks the ability to increase the CPU's programmed F-max or maximum frequency up to 200 MHz in steps of 25 MHz. For dual CCD Ryzen 9000 CPUs, it's crucial to know that each CCD has its own F-max and the override applies to both CCDs independently. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 200. This increases the F-max of the 8 Zen 5 CPU cores in CCD0 from 5.55 GHz to 5.75 GHz and the F-max of the 8 Zen 5 CPU cores in CCD1 from 5.75 GHz to 5.95 GHz. Enter the Curve Shaper submenu. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Shaper allows us to fine-tune multiple regions of the VF curve. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Curve Shaper introduces five tunable regions ranging from min to max frequency. In our overclock, we ignore the min frequency, apply a maximum undervolt to low and medium frequencies, then fine tune the high and max frequency undervolt to ensure stability. Note that the Curve Shaper settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. For more details on how you can find the best values, check out the longer Scatterbencher guide on this channel. For low, medium, high and max frequency, set low, medium and high temperature to enable. For low and medium frequency, set sign to negative and magnitude to 30. For high frequency, set sign to positive and magnitude to 25. For max frequency, set sign to positive and magnitude to 10. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5.9 GHz. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU CCD0 effective clock is 5,155 MHz and CCD1 effective clock is 5,209 MHz with 1.126 volts. The average CPU temperature is 77.4 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 240.7 watts. And that's it. I want to thank you for watching, the patrons and the YouTube members for their support, and see you next time.